vraiment bien. Parce que le sol commence à être très vivant. Oui, avec une activité. I am Juan Tavastin. Hein? I am a winemaker and wine grower here in at Quinta de Boa Vista. I'm starting doing wines at home. But also then I was at school at Bordeaux and at uh, Villarreal. So my background is uh, very uh, scientific and very formal. Here we have nice conditions to produce uh, um, low alcohol wines because we really uh, adapt our vines uh, to produce, uh, to produce uh, uh, great grapes uh, with nice phenolic ripeness uh, and uh, low alcohol. And we have different soils and uh, uh, different and plots faced to different uh, situations. So here we are uh, in a plot with lot a lot of clay. So clay is the um, older is the older origin or are the older sediments in down with 500 million years. Their origin is oceanic from a, an old ocean that that ocean that we had here 500 million year ago. In the other side, we have the opposite conditions and the, the, the slopes are exposed, are facing to north and the, the soils are very sandy. So with the granite origin. With that, we can manage different grape varieties with different cycles and so starting to harvest in the end of August and doing it during one, one and a half months we get to produce very very fresh wines with medium low alcohol. Normally I start to harvest with 10 and a half, no more than that, 10 and a half of alcohol, what, what means less than 20, 200 grams of sugar per kilo of, of grapes. And we finish uh, around uh, 200, 20 grams per kilo. And so balance, balancing all that, we really get to produce very, very fresh, uh, very fresh wines. And so that idea that the Portuguese wines are heavy because of uh, our climate, of our sunny weather, really uh, are not completely right because I think the problem is the wine making, the problem is the market, the problem is the trendy and we can perfectly produce very nice and elegant and fine wines if we take that decision. That's what I did. I like to drink wine. That's why I prefer to have lighter wines, elegant wines that I can drink much more. Just this, this evening, like uh, everywhere around, it was uh, uh, the wild boars looking for the, the worms, uh, earthworms. And uh, it's during the, the evening, around uh, uh, midnight, one, one o'clock, that really the, the, the wor earthworms goes up to, uh, to pick the, the organic matter and uh, and also they leave their their sheet here in the upper part of the soil and they go down and bring the organic matter to the uh, rock mother to the mother rock and that's uh, uh, with that uh, circulation that flux that really it will the soil will uh, grow in terms of quality because the um, the, the organic matter that the, the, the earth worms bring to the mother rock will form uh, a complex with the rock that really uh, allows the, the, the soil to be each time better.
experience so far uh, is an experience with a great uh, amount of people that I love because we can never say that there's a wine that really makes us be happy but we can say that there are bottles that makes us be happy and so when we speak of bottles we speak of people we speak of uh, of uh, uh, enjoying life we speaking of all these things i never will have a great experience with a wine if i'm not i think i not share it with someone Fantastic landscape here. It's a very, very nice place. And the uh, River Dow? And River Dow again. And River Dow. And here we, here, here, we can hear the river because there's a little dam there and the, the noise uh, of the water falling down, it's, uh, it's uh, very relaxing. It's, uh, it's fantastic. It's, um, we were talking about um, the Dao appellation, the Dao uh, region. So what's the production, the total production? Exactly, exactly, I can tell you. I, I know that Dao is, is around uh, 20,000 hectares of, of vines. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And not all of the wine is commercialized by Botod, lots of of wine, lots, lots of wine is commercialized by Begging Box uh, and also some of, uh, of it in rack, uh, mm. bulk, 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 yeah. bulk, bulk wine. So um, knowing that uh, in Bordeaux most of the wine uh, is sold pretty much the same way, uh, that uh, Bordeaux wine are extremely cheap when you buy them, you know, most of them they are not high quality. Um, do you think that uh, having um, the name of a region on the bottle does matter for wine producer? No, it's exactly of that. When when we saw that uh, we have lots of wine that is sold at very very low price, there's no reason to have the name of the region in the bottle. <laughs> For me, it's, it's it's time. It's I've decided it. It's it's really there's no. It's I think it's uh, it's really really uh, uh, um, a decision that I took and. Uh, uh, I think that it's not important at all. Nobody cares if it is down or if it is, uh, or if it is not down. Mm. Really, people is looking for uh, what I'm doing for uh, for my wines, not for the wines that has uh, a label with uh, a certification from uh, a border. Nothing more. <laughs> Traditionally, here in the region, in the region, we always use the chestnut, not oak or very few. Or when we add oak, it was very old oak, so. Um, not to do any makeup to the wine. That's the goal. I don't want to make up the wine. I I like to do pure wines without makeup. Uh, and what I have here it's uh, my orange, my orange wine. And uh, really, it's orange. Orange in all terms. Orange it smells at orange and tangerine. It's uh, very, very fresh. And we'll have a very nice orange, orange color. Uh, red. That will be for my Lero Lero and for uh, and also for for Tretas. Tretas and Lero Lero are wines very with uh, very low extraction. Uh, lots of flowers, uh, lots of red fruits. 
and lots of energy. Never something that we will never find in my wines, it's jam or black fruit. I think everything that uh, starts to get too much color, that starts too much, too much concentration, starts to be very boring. So I prefer the green side of life. Even oh, another another pure juice. This is a uh, my rosé from uh, uh, this year. Lots of Torriga Nacional, but with eleven of alcohol, no any no settlement at all. So the wine has fermented with the, all the solids uh, in suspension to really to, to get a wine with a nice structure, a nice texture. The wine is finished, Ferm malolactic fermentation is, is done and really that kind... I do some uh, uh, affinage, I do some uh, aging in the, the chestnut barrels, but here it's really to bottled raw wines. That's what That's I'm what doing you... here. Yeah? Raw, raw, raw. So, in terms of uh, substance, you will use in the in the vi vineyard and in the from the vineyard to to the to the glass till the end. We try to don't use nothing. So, in the vineyard, what we use it's a little bit of copper to 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 fight against against the mildew and um, volcanic sulfur to fight against uh, lithium. Mm. Here, in the vineyard, we don't use nothing. From the beginning till the end, nothing, nothing, nothing. Just a little bit of sulfur, of sulfur to, bottled, uh, to bottled the wine into a run that the wine will not be oxidized. I use a little bit of uh, uh, chestnut flour. Can you show us? Yes, I use a little bit of chestnut flour, or blossom, uh, when I receive the grapes and the blossom, chestnut blossom, it's an incredible antioxidant. Uh, the blossom, chestnut blossom, that we, we use uh, to protect during fermentation and when we receive the, the grapes. Really is the, 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 is the pollen. Eh? It's the pollen of the of the flowers, chestnut flowers. And this is the alternative to sulfur. This is the alternative of sulfur during during the the, 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 the fermentation, during the, the the storage time that, uh, or during the time that we have the wines here in the in the cellar. Mm -hmm.